Hi everybody and welcome. Today we are going to look at the topic of negative numbers. Now this really is one subject that seems to confuse students time and time again. And unfortunately we meet the negative number and have to work with it at all different levels of maths. Today we're just going to look at the basics we're going to define the negative number and see how we do basic calculations using them. I hope you find this of some use. Because of the amount of confusion I see in classrooms about negative numbers, I just want to start with three little rules. The first of those is that a negative number is a number that is less than zero. The second one is that a negative number has a minus sign at the beginning. Otherwise, it is not negative. If it has a negative sign, it is negative. If it hasn't, it isn't. And the third one, a decimal number like 0 0.34 is not a negative number. It's just a small number. It doesn't have a minus sign on the beginning, so it's not negative. The diagram we have here is known as a number line, and it's a quite useful little tool to help us understand how minus numbers work. So you can see right in the very centre here, we have zero, and on the right hand side, numbers go up as you would expect, one, two, three, four, and so on. On the other side is where the numbers are going in the opposite direction and they are going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but of course these are the minuses. Now what we need to understand is that as we are travelling in this direction, the numbers are getting smaller. So a typical question would be, which is smaller and you may be given two minus numbers? So which is smaller, minus 3 or minus 7? Now we know that in everyday talk a 7 is bigger than a 3, but of course this tells us that in fact as we are going in this direction we are getting smaller and smaller. Therefore minus 7 over here is smaller than minus 3. It's in that direction. So the opposite, of course, is that you are travelling in that direction, in which case the numbers are getting larger. Another typical question you may get asked is to find the difference between numbers. The example here, what is the difference between minus 3 and 6? Well, if we look at the number line here, 6 is here and minus 3 is here. So to find out the difference, we simply need to count along 1 two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the difference between six and minus three is in fact nine. You may in fact be more familiar seeing a number line in a vertical format like this because this is very similar to a thermometer looking at temperatures, degrees centigrade in this case, and it works exactly the same way, that the temperature falls and goes 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, what gets down to zero, freezing, and then starts getting even colder and we go into minus numbers. So a typical question here might be, if the temperature yesterday was 3 degrees and it has dropped by 5 degrees, what is the temperature now? So we do this in the same way as we did on the previous page. We're starting there at 3 degrees. We know that it's dropped by 5, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there are 5 stages, it's dropped down, so the temperature is now minus 2 degrees. One important point to note here, as we are going down in the steps, is we do not miss out the 0. The 0 might mean nothing, but it's a very important number, and must be included in the steps as you go down. And that's as far as we're going to take negative numbers in this session. There are many other things we can do with them, but those are for other videos. In the meantime, if you've enjoyed that, I've put a link to reading scales, which I think follows this video nicely. And please, as always, do hit that subscribe button. Thank you.